Okay, now we're going to paint a pumpkin seed. And what we've done here, we've whitened the fish, and then we put a coat of white pearl over that for a good pearly effect. And now we're going to clear the eye off, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay, now we've got bright yellow. We do the lower jaw. <coughs> The breast area real good. Even the cheek area. Now I've got yellow over. And I'm going to go ahead and do all my fins. With a medium coat. Off the head, even in the back with a light coat. And run this down sideways into the belly. After painting the fins with yellow ochre and going down the side with yellow ochre, now we're going to go to transparent orange and we're going to put that just on the breast area and the head and cheek area. Uh, probably a, a light coat. But we want it to show. We don't want to kill the yellow out completely though. And there's that good pearly color underneath. Go ahead and get the cheek and the gill area. Lower jaw. Fade it up just a little bit, maybe a third of the way up. <clears throat> Go ahead and do the mouth area, even, even on the top of the head, but only up so far. Just right up the very top of the back to about the spiny dorsal will be fine. Okay, now we're also going to do the fins of this while we've got our transparent orange. Go ahead and put a medium to light coat on there. More, more towards the body of the fish. 
Okay, now we're going to go to our next color. Okay, now I've got rich brown. I'm going to go ahead and darken my head about as dark as I want it while I've got this. Basically, just darkening the head up, the top of the head. I want it about as dark as I want it to be, so I don't have to go back over it later. Maybe just a hair on the breast area while you're here. Okay, now what I've got is a mixture of medium green and rich brown, half and half. And I'm going to go ahead and put our spot pattern in. And then I'll show you what we're going to do next. Now there's some bars that come down too, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Now the spot pattern, they they tend to be kind of rollified. Every fish is different, I've noticed. Some fish, they're, and I try not to put it on too, too heavy, but I, I don't want the spots to be completely straight. Some of them go straight down to the, belly. And they're basically the thickness of the scale. They're a little bit thicker. Now the spots I'm putting on first now are the ones that are going to have foreign spots in it later. And those are the ones I'm putting in right now. Now towards the mid, the thicker part of the fish, <coughs> you tend to be bigger spots and a little bit more separated. That's according to my record. And you only want to go down about a little over halfway. You know, with the brown spots. also some in here too. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and
start from the back and the fins also. Now we, we may not want to go as dark as we think we need to go, because we might have to go back over all this stuff. Then again, it may be a good idea. Just be careful and don't go too dark. And we want this color to fade out uh, roughly halfway down, down the back. spots to put also. That's like on a warm out. They're actually identical to the way you put them on a warm out. Explode out from the center. You need a one to go all the way to the end. And the same way with this. Like you would on a warm out. And then we don't even have to go all the way up. <laughs> Sometimes they'll sound like a dust, you know, like maybe there should be spots there. But I don't ever see them. Sort of like that. Now we're going to highlight the fins like we do all our fish, or every fish in the brand family. And you may want to go down the back a little bit more. Get it just where you want it. It's almost as dark as you want to get it. Okay, when I'm pretty well satisfied that I think I've gotten as dark as I want to get. I 
Then we'll go ahead and proceed to our next color. Okay, we've got the green again, the medium green. And we're going to shade down about halfway down. And just stop, stop about halfway down. And if you want to or need to, you shake the top of the head a little bit more. Depending on if you want it a little greener. And fade it out about a half or a little over half way down the bottom. Fade it out completely. Now we're going to apply some turquoise mark using a uh, turquoise. <coughs> First thing we're going to do, I guess, is uh, go ahead and put the facial markings in. And what you want to do is find you a good, good reference picture somewhere. And although you can't see the ear flap, probably I can see it, so I've, I'm able to know where where everything goes. And around the under part, there's one also. And don't be afraid to break these lines up either. They don't always connect. And they tend to run right up here to the pectoral fin. A lot of my reference they do. The blue markings do. And that's pretty good for that. <clears throat> and later we'll, put, we'll get a white 
we get white paint and we'll go around where the ear flap's going to be. Now what we go ahead and do is put where our turquoise bars are going to be. And a lot of times they're kind of chainy and in like rows of Now there's what I like to call kind of a loose pattern, I guess is the right way to say it. A loose pattern. And it depends on your individual fish too. I mean not all We've got all kinds of marks going on here. But the chain-like thing that you see, it tends to not always go straight up and down. Every fish is different. And you can make them as these turquoise spots as uneven as you want the orange spots to be. I would say just letting it be known that there is a significant uh, barring effect going on, <clears throat> you're probably good enough right there. <clears throat> and towards the end, there's not, it doesn't go on as much. You can break it up just a hair, but not much. Now towards the bottom, you've got some rollified looking marks anyway. They kind of run, run off and up all the way towards the tail. Now you can get as elaborate with this as your reference will allow. But between the bars, they are what I would like to say pretty, pretty pronounced sometimes. There's a definite difference.
You can put small specks all over it. and even the fans. And you got some down here too. Even this bottom one's got them too. And now I'm in the pet cool or the pellet can. Yeah. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. Yeah. Using our black green mixture again, our medium green and rich brown mixture, I'm going to go ahead and not all the turquoise spots like at the bottom or anything, but the ones that are in between the vague bars kind of. I'm going to go ahead and put a whole a circle in the middle of it. And I'm going to let the blue kind of halo. Can you see what I'm doing? And the lighter you can go with it, probably the better. It's hard to get rid of as light as you need to get, but the light as you can get.
Now remember, we're just putting brown spots between the ones that are in between the hollows. We want some other turquoise marks to stay on there, individually, just by themselves. You should be able to tell by looking which one you want to do that. Because the ones that are going to have the orange spots should be little, should be bigger and rounder. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put the orange spots. Okay, now with the same color that we put the spots in, I'm going to go ahead and put the barring sequence in. Since I got the color. And we'll worry about even, uh, darkening the back up if we need to later. Now in your reference, the way the, even the way the bars go is uh, is kind of staggered from one way to the other. And then it fades out before it goes all the way down to the bottom. Kind of breaks off, almost separates in two. And they are almost like on two separate sides, sort of. And they only go down maybe a little over halfway before they uh, fade out. And now these are loose bars. They branch off almost like tree roots, sort of, sometimes. They tend to be more hollow in the middle. Just like the the barring pattern on a war mount above the lateral line, the same thing. <laughs> Again, let your reference be your guide for this. And some of them, some people don't even use foot, foot bars on theirs, I've noticed. And it's less of a barring pattern towards the back. Around the tail area. It's not really pronounced as uh, bars per se. It's more almost like markings or something. But that looks about right to me. Then we'll use this color again a little bit later. Maybe just to tone the back down just a hair bit more. Now we're going to go to bright orange. Okay, now we're going to <coughs> put our orange spots in between our dark spots.
probably could have went a little bit bigger with some of my brown halos. That's okay. Now I'm going to show you what we're going to do now. It's good that I didn't go too big with my turquoise spots or whatever because you don't want to cover up your background by putting too many spots. But now we're going to focus the belly area, even the breast area some. We're going to put orange spots without putting anything as far as the halo is concerned. We're going to do the whole rule of five thing. We're going to put some almost like dots, preferably in between the blue ones that we put. You know, in rows of one or two or three, depending on what you want. But you want it to look as natural as possible. And some of these are going to kind of come off like they're part of the part of these bars. And some of them are going to run through the bar, which gives a good effect. Yeah, I got just a little happy with the orange spots, but if you keep them around the lower one-third, the orange spots that don't have halos, that's, that's what you want. I went a little bit too happy with the orange spots, but if you see anything you need to darken up, like maybe the dark spots on the fins, now would be a good time to do that, and that's what we're going to do. We're using our same color that we did before, the black and medium green. And we'll try to stay out of the turquoise marks that we put on there.
Okay, according to your reference. You may want to go a little bit darker on these bars here. Kind of remember how they break off sort of like tree branches almost. Oh, or tree ring session say. And it may give you a chance to cover up some of them more in spots that you may feel like you put too dark. different. Some of them have a strong barring pattern and some don't have a strong barring pattern at all. I go down the back just maybe once or twice. And okay, we're going down the back of our pumpkin seed. And we don't want to kill out what we've done, all the pretty turquoise marks on the fins and everything. But if we can centralize our spray just to do the very top of the back and I mean the very top and you're probably still going to even lose a few of your turquoise spots in the process and we want to keep everything kind of bright in a way this is a good color to go ahead and color the back of your fish fins with. Now we're going to go ahead and do our eyes. Notice I didn't try to shade the back and all that. I've made that mistake a lot of trying to... I've made the mistake a lot of trying to shade the back and, 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 and fade the bars in a little. And what I end up doing is keep covering all my marks making it look dead and drabby looking. So I'm just going to leave it just like this. We're going to clean the eyes off and paint our ear in. Okay, I'm going to attempt to go ahead and make the white ring around the ear flap is. You probably can't see it, but I can see it. Not the best in the world, but it'll work. <coughs> and now we go ahead and just put color the ear flap in with black. Looking at your reference, it, it, you only get so far out and it just kind of fades out. But around the white margin area, it's pretty contrasting. Okay, if you wanted to cheat a little bit and was afraid of how your spray would go, just get a sharpie pen.
kind of do like that. And then when you get where you want to phase it out a little bit, you can go back to your airbrush paints. And of course, if you're good, if you're good enough, you know, with with what you got, then then that ought to be good enough. I mean, you can use an airbrush. Now we're going to go ahead and put the half and half red orange mark on the back of the ear flap. Okay, I've cleaned my eye off. I've put my red orange mark on my ear. And I went ahead and lost the fish. And this is my rendition of a pumpkin seed bluegill.